Hey, hi, I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to Tofu World Science, so you can't you fit at home. I'm just testing this miracle water that claims it can cure any disease, and go over to the science file, and the science file, let's do it! How do you spot pseudoscience? Well, that's a great question. I'm thinking... You'll need a glass jar, a candle, a pitcher of water, and a lighter. Take a look at this. That's pretty impressive footage, but as a scientist, I want to see if I can repeat that right here, right now, right in front of me. Now, we can test this by taking a jar, taking a candle, lighting the candle on fire, placing the candle in the jar, and then pouring water into the container. Check that out. The candle didn't even stay in the bottom of the container like you saw in the video. If you still don't believe me that candles can't burn underwater, there you have it. The candle did not burn. So, how do they make the candle burn underwater? And how do you spot pseudoscience? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Pseudoscience is any claim that sounds scientific, such as Welders are able to weld underwater so a candle flame can burn underwater. But when we test or experiment on these claims, they don't hold up. Such as putting a candle flame underwater and the flame goes out. To make a candle flame look like it's burning underwater, you first have to line up two glass jars of the same size. Place a lit candle in the back jar and then pour water into the front jar. This will make the candle look like it's burning underwater. Some people are just plain lazy and don't want to do the work to get rewarded. So scammers often use pseudoscience to trick people into giving them easy money, such as New Age medicines, scare people into giving them easy power, such as religious cult leaders, as well as to get easy fame without having to do any work, such as conspiracy theories. A good way to tell if something is pseudoscience is when somebody says, just look at both sides and come to your own conclusion. A real scientist would want to test both claims before making a final decision. So now you know how to spot pseudoscience. Turns out, this water, just regular water. You know, disproving unscientific claims is why real science is so cool. <laughs>